Hi folks, Jim from Polyglide Ice, and today's question is, what is synthetic ice? Well, synthetic ice is a solid polymer sheet that interlocks with other panels to form an artificial ice surface for ice skating. Regular metal bladed skates can be used for either recreational use or training. The two standard forms of synthetic ice are HDPE or high density polyethylene and UHMWPE or ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. Both surfaces have abrasive resistant characteristics and are available in many forms, which we will get into. Where can synthetic ice be installed? Synthetic ice can be installed in any location, indoors or outdoors, that has a hard flat surface such as concrete, wood decking, or pavement. The surface will expand and contract with changes in the temperature, so provisions must be made to allow for this to happen. Expansion gaps along the outside edge must be considered if fencing or boards are to be installed around the perimeter. About infused and non-infused synthetic ice surfaces. Infused or self-lubricating synthetic ice panels have less friction or coefficient of friction and don't require spraying with glide enhancer. However, self-lubricating does not mean self-cleaning, as infused surfaces do tend to attract more dirt and require more work in keeping them cleaner over the lifetime of the rink. Non-infused surfaces do require a glide enhancer spray, that you just spray the surface, to reduce the surface friction. This is a great option for heavy foot traffic areas or shooting galleries. Will synthetic ice damage my skate blades? Unlike real ice that is cold, synthetic ice is room temperature with an added friction of about 10 or 15 percent more than natural ice. This will cause your blade to heat up quicker as you train. To reduce the amount of wear on your edges, make sure to choose a quality blade for your ice skate. The harder the steel on the blade, the longer it will hold the edge on your skates. Many times blades that come with new skates are okay for natural ice, but not the best choice for synthetic. Will synthetic ice eventually wear out? Well, starting with your skate, every blade has an inside and outside edge that will slightly mar the surface while you're training. As you break in and scratch up the surface, the little imperfections give less contact with the skate blade, which actually helps enhance the glide over time. While skating, only about a sixteenth of an inch will slice the surface, but when you do a hockey stop, you skim across. There's no gouging. What type of maintenance is required for synthetic ice? First of all, all synthetic ice surfaces, infused and non-infused, must be kept clean to obtain optimal performance in glide. Non-infused surfaces require a light application of glide enhancer to prepare the surface for ice skating. You will know it's time for cleaning when you start seeing discoloration on the surface or dirt buildup. Infused rinks do not require a glide enhancer spray, but do need to be cleaned frequently to prevent dirt buildup on the surface. Simply apply a concentrated cleaner to the surface to help break up the grout lines and remove the dirt prior to wiping down the rink. How do I know what synthetic ice product to buy? There are four basic questions you need to ask yourself before shopping for a synthetic ice surface. Who is a synthetic ice surface for? A beginner or advanced skater? What is the purpose for the rink? Is it for recreational use or training to become a stronger skater? Is there a dedicated space for the rink? If so, you may want to opt for a larger panel with less seams overall on your rink. If not, you may want to choose a lighter panel that you can utilize the space for other things when not in use. What is your budget? Limit the cost to what you can afford to get your ring project started. Does synthetic ice feel like real ice? Synthetic ice technology has come a long way to close the gap between artificial and real ice. The transition from natural to artificial ice happens as soon as you start skating. You can make all the same maneuvers on artificial ice as you can on real ice, but not all surfaces are created equal. The most natural feeling synthetic ice will always be the one that offers the least amount of surface friction while ice skating. Can I park my car on my garage rink? Garages have become one of the most popular spots for home rink installations. Solid core double sided panels are strong enough to hold a vehicle, but provisions should be made to protect the surface before parking. I would recommend covering the rink with a runner or top that will prevent any fluids or grease from dripping onto the surface. For more information, check out our website at www.polyglidesyntheticice.com.